Welcome to Cuz We Can Farms. We are Heather and Kimmy, and today we are working on our post and bean barn. Kimmy and I have been friends for over 30 years, military veterans, and this has been a really fun experience for us. Last week we had a group of our fellow veteran YouTubers up here and we set the very first beams for this shop and it was really cool to work with the entire group. So basically what we're doing is we had unscrewed most of these um, girts so that we can shift the posts to make sure everything was plumb. So I'm getting these tightened back in. It's all screwed to the girts. So that's all done. This can't come off, it's holding on to here. Oh, we can't screw it. <laughs> There's a reason that Randy didn't do it that way, so I'm just not gonna mess with it. <laughs> yeah, probably a good plan. All right, so we're starting out with getting these all screwed back together because we did pull them all off. Um, I think we're gonna try to put up these big 15 footers um but i don't know i'm a little nervous about it we'll see i haven't asked victor where his tractor is because <laughs> it's not here i think it's down the hill but he puts it down there for safety so um i probably want to sit back and stare at things for a second and then we'll figure out what we're gonna can anybody who was here the day we did this tell me what this is about Pretty sure it was when we moved the beam out, but I don't remember that going in. I think it's a stool for us to sit on. Oh, okay. <laughs> in case our feet get tired. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> My battery's already hot. Okay, so everybody's been telling me forever to use this drill. You need to get you one of the impact drills. I have one. You have two, actually. I actually have two. Um, and it's fantastic you're not wrong it's just really loud and it hurts my ears and when i wear hearing protection i can't hear kim you know it just turns into a whole thing it makes it i have to take things out to talk to you guys i have to put them back so that's why i have not been using it but in this instance this is definitely the drill of choice because i have no strength and it does it all for me <laughs> so you weren't wrong just push it. <laughs> here's what you asked for you are the woman in black today you got some dark secrets or something <laughs> i need my black cowboy hat look at you except for your boots my brown boots yeah you do need a black Don't cowboy hat. i look slim though <laughs> is that what you were going for the slimming look the slimming look because it's always important to have a slimming look on a build it is it's very important how else am i supposed to find a husband <laughs> I my great humor. It's the, I'm like I'm I'm I need someone who wants a funny wife. <laughs> yeah. That's number 1 on his list. <laughs> so what are we working on now? Well, I think we're going to try to put these beams up. I'm waiting on my son about the tractor using the tractor again this morning, but we're going to go ahead and cut them out and be ready so when he says, "Yeah, go get it." Um we can just go get it and Put these up on this side right here that would be so awesome we're mimicking that side we're gonna do it a little bit different um as we've been looking at that i i told randy how i wanted it done over there but now I've, I've decided i want to do something just a tiny bit different and so we'll see how that goes and we're gonna lay it out on these beams and go from there and we can explain it to y'all later yeah but now so I, i'm sure people are going to ask so i'm going to ask the question why are we going ahead and putting the beams up on this side instead of over there uh the next ones uh, well so we have our bracing and it's completely in the way for the tractor to get into the barn so uh we need to take all that down and if we take all that down without getting this beam going across then that comes completely unplumbed again <laughs> so at least this side and then we, we want to put the permanent bracing in um by t when we take that side down so it's just we're tired of we're tired of bracing yeah <laughs> and plumbing yes no more plumbing no more bracing because <laughs> we are not plumbers <laughs> not 
plumbers. We don't want to be plumbers. Hashtag not plumbers. <laughs> <laughs> So figuring out where to cut these beams has been really stressful because you know you can only cut once and if you cut it wrong and they don't actually land on the post then you have to re-mill these and these are six by tens so they're really big beams and I've never done this before so we kind of measure and re-measure and recheck and and all of those things um, so that hopefully we get these correct and we can connect this end of the whole barn. This was one of the things when Randy was um, measuring all of this out, I don't feel like I watched close enough. Um, I really was trying to be in the day and enjoy the community that we had uh, while trying to learn um, while he was laying all of this out. And I, and I definitely should have focused a little bit more and paid a little bit more attention but i'm really hoping it, it seems very simple it seems like you just measure this out and you draw your lines and then you cut it we'll see how it turns out the day started out pretty nice and it is getting cool obviously fall is coming and winter is coming so we are trying to get through this part and move on to the next part. We would really like to get the roof on before winter um, because we can work in the cold. I just don't want to be roofing when it's snowing. That just really doesn't seem very safe to me. So. So I want to know who was dropping dimes here on Friday when they were here helping. I'm going to try to cut on outside of the line. I got you. I'm on it. I know what to do. <laughs> Plug it in. That's what it is. We have a yellow one, but this red one's fast. <laughs> I just want to say that behind this hill, 
are some little pink flowers so fall can suck it. We're still in summer as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> she did say that a few minutes ago and I thought she was talking about Paul which is Kira's dad and I was like what did Paul do to, to you? All right here's what we're doing today because we have all week of rain. It started raining on us yesterday. The saw didn't want to work. The chain bounced off. It was all against us. So we have a few hours that they say we're not going to get rain. Looks pretty nice. Could be right. It could be right. Hopefully. So we're gonna mark out these other beams and then the reason we're not cutting them out as we go is because our blue eddy is <laughs> not charged all the way. Was that, what was that, 12%? Yes. Yeah, 12%. So the generator's being used back there. So once we get these all done where we could just quickly cut them out, Bam, 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 bam. And then take that back and finish recharging. And then we can lift these up. So we have to go on blind faith that <laughs> my markings are correct. They don't line up. <laughs> Let's do this. So we decided that this, we were going to go to the short one. So we want the bottom part. Oh, I want to flip you guys off. It's totally flipping you. I use my middle finger. It's the longest one. It's a good pointer. So this one, we wanted our line to fall in the middle of our beam instead of how we did it over there, which I'm the one that suggested it was done that way. So we're not getting on to anybody about cutting it not correctly. Um, but I want both the bottom of both beams to actually sit on this post here. So instead of going, this is our post, these outside lines, and then this line, we'll put that in the center of the post. And then this line will, um, I don't know, I'm still a little, I think this is, should go all the way over to there, which would fall on this, it would fall here. But I don't know how much. And then you would have a two inch on the other one and a six inch on the top. So that would be all cut out. Or this would be, it's very confusing. <laughs> my, I need my little um, milking chair <laughs> so I could sit here and stare at it because my brain is not computing this and it seems like it should be very simple but my brain's like slamming that door on me <laughs> this one's named Doyle this one doesn't have a name Maybe she's got a space for a name it's you name it <laughs> this has been such a fun experience and I love the fact that I get to share it with my grandkids um, you see my grandson running around there in the background, and he loves to help. He loves to see what we're doing, and he watches. And this is how I learned the stuff that I've learned. And it's pretty fabulous that he gets to be here, because when he grows up, he'll be able to say, I, I was there when Grandma was putting up this barn. That, I think, is an incredible legacy. Difficult. It's difficult. Okay, so this is our cut lines. So we want this one on the bottom. Longer on the bottom than on the top, correct? Correct. So we want this is our cut, and this is our cut here, and this we cut here. To put the next beam on top of it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now we go from here to there, but we need another beam. We don't have a beam. What are you getting? Oh. Oh. Three. Oh 
my word, I barely even did anything. You're, You're so, so strong. strong. High five. Bam, bam, bam. 20, 40, 80, 20, 70, 200. <laughs> <laughs> so let's square up an end. That is the far side of the post. Let's find our six inches. It is? Oh, good. For a measurement, because we burned an inch, and sometimes that confuses me. Yep, bam, right there. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so if this is our bottom, this is our top. So, this is the subtract four inches down here. Oh, good. That's helpful. I'm gonna make so many help. So that's here. And then over here, one, two, three, four. Oh, actually, this should have been at five. Okay, you gotta hold that real straight. Right there. We need our flat one. Okay, so one, two, three, four goes here. How do I know how to count? Because mm -hmm. I went to school. And my grandma, when I was at my grandma's house, she would make us count and do, we would do math. So grandma always got pretty good in math. Okay, now we need our five inch mark, which is right here. We connect that. How are you doing? got to going up? I just got this this high. So we will be. I think go more lines on here. But like up my deal. We did more on that side on the bottom. So that means this goes two inches. We'll cut here. And we'll cut here. And we'll cut here. C equals cut. Yeah, we do. Isn't that the part that the cutting the end that off? That gets cut off. Yeah. So we'll cut this way, this way, this way. This is what the other beam looks like when we left it. This is the outside of the beam. This is the inside of the beam. So that other one came over here four inches and up here two inches. And so we do two inches sitting on the beam and four inches. We'll go double touch, double check that. Make sure that side looks like an L. So see that leaves two inches. You don't know how high. Four inches on the top. Okay. Let me see. I'm gonna have you do some. I want you to take this all the way to the end and set it right here. Right there, okay? Take that in. To the wood. There you go. All the way up on the wood. No, down on the bottom. Put it on. There you go. This is 10. Don't. Okay. Hey, I have them. All right, buddy. Just hold just right here. see the bug. I see the bug. Just hold right there. Nope, don't hold this part up right here. There you go. That looks like 10. Three and a quarter. Got it? Ten three and a quarter. And then we have to add an inch and a half. Okay. 
for our cutout that we haven't cut out yet. Right on the line. Does that look good? Do you want to burn an inch? Yeah, show them how to do that. Okay. All right, buddy. We're gonna we're gonna pull this over just a tiny bit and see where it says one. That line has to be right on this line. Yeah. Got it? Yeah. Okay, it looks like we're there. I want ten four and a quarter. And then I'm gonna add right there, you got it? You gotta watch what you're doing so it doesn't move. Right there. Hold it just like that. You're a good little helper. Good helper. Every grandma needs a good helper. Look at that, another flower. Suck it, fall. Right there, St. John's wort. Kicking butt, kicking me. Look how high you are. Look how high you are. A little, little higher. More. Stand up nice and tall. About four inches, man. Look up at Auntie. Right there. Three foot six and a half. Woo! You go. You're halfway there, man. Three foot six and a half. So if he's halfway there, then making seven foot. Ooh. <laughs> You're going to be a tall, handsome one. Those of you who have been following the journey definitely knew how much that I stressed about cutting these. And I'm so glad. To be cutting the last few posts that we have and setting these beams. It's really cool to watch this go from a drawing, um, from plans, and then putting it up. And I have put up a barn, a post barn before, but it was really different. It was in te Texas. It was very rustic. I'm wanting this uh, barn to be a really cool place. And I do keep calling a barn, but it will be a shop. These are barn plans. So if you haven't um, clicked over to Barn Geeks and checked out his plans, he has a, a couple of different barns that he's put plans together for, and they're really, really cool. So link in the description, go check him out, tell him we said hi. Smooth as a baby's bottom? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> but I do think it's an inch and a half, so it'll, it'll fit. That one was a little harder. I went thicker in my chunks so it didn't want to break and then we're running out of batteries already aren't we on our DeWalt's no we're still good we got um one's at a two we have another one at a three as long as we can hold off the rain it started sprinkling a little bit but it looks like those dark clouds went up and over that way yeah. but it looks like there's Couple more up. more coming that way yeah look at that boy the clouds are literally just rolling in now I'm really hoping we can finish before the rain comes. Who would have thought that this little uh, mini chainsaw would work so well? The one thing that I have found is that the tools make such a huge difference. And I have struggled with this beam saw all year so far, every time I've tried to use it. I think that's a pretty smooth cut. Yeah, that looks pretty good. All the way into four inches instead of two, like we had talked about. I went all the way in, so. And it stay in place where it needs to stay. It's super frustrating because this is how I had planned to cut all of these beams. Well, we lost the screw. It's making this move all over the place. The raindrops are getting thicker. We gotta get the recording camera out of the rain. And uh, it's coming down. So we'll see you guys hopefully later this evening and we can finish cutting this.